recording, which, um, I mean, my computer doesn't like streaming, so it's really not going to like streaming and recording. Woo, baby! Woo, baby! Oh, thank you, Altron. Uh, Altron, Altron, for, for the follow. Much appreciated. I um I honestly don't stream that much, but this is a special occasion. So um Oh yeah, this is the uh, this is the front page here. Walter Mondale dies the same night as Yahoo answers. Coincidence? And then this answer sounds I'm guessing this answer is sarcastic, which is good, but I would not put it past the people of Yahoo Answers for this to not be a sarcastic answer. I think not. Yeah, it's... Who's to, who's to say? Who's to say? Oh, and then the follow-up question uh do you think the soul of walter mondale is keeping yahoo answers alive i don't know uh, i don't really know much about walter mondale that was um his uh, the kind of peak of his career was well before i was born but i do know that if he had won instead of reagan we would be living in a much better world right now. Or a world that is as bad, but the badness would have been delayed. Wait, what if Kissinger dies the same day as Yahoo answers? I'm wishing this into the universe. Kissinger, Kissinger should, the, the best time for Kissinger to have died would be before Anthony Bourdain died. Because Anthony Bourdain rightfully hated his fucking guts. But the second best time for him to die is now. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I still only have one viewer, but I will. I will get started. It's 8.03. Um, and I will, I'll give you a little, a little rundown on how this is gonna go. Um, so, my, I'm revealing to you all my Yahoo finding secrets. Um, and really, the my technique is that I go category by category, and each category I will go to the answer tab because it lists um, the newest, the newest posted question, the most recently posted questions. Um, and when I started doing this, I figured if I send in the most recently posted questions, there is a good chance that I will be the first one to send it in. And therefore it will have a better chance of getting used in my name. And... I think that strategy has generally worked. Um, but yeah, and um, oh shit! Oh wait, no, you can't. You can't see my Safari browser even when I open it, because that's how I set it up. <laughs> Duh. Um. So we'll get started here in the Arts and Humanities section. Um, the Arts and Humanities section is pretty good. Um, it does have, in terms of cesspitness, it does have a lot of questions about, like, Nazis. Um... Yeah, as you can see, we've got some 
bad, bad questions about the Holocaust. Um... And here's the here's another secret about Yahoo Answers. Um, you know, half the questions are disgusting, and the other half are just kind of boring. Uh, so like also not sendable. Like, how did people live in the Soviet Union? It's an interesting question, but it's not really like you know funny. For a bim bam. Um, I do suspect that this is going to be a very different uh, dumpster dive. Um, I'm going to scroll past that so you don't have to read that. Um, very different dumpster dive from usual because so many of the questions are going to be about, oh, Yahoo Answers is dying. Um, oh, this one. This one will be fun. So then I, I open it in a new tab, and I copy the link, and I open the email, and you can't see the email, but um, what I do is I send it to mabimbam at maximumfun.com, and um, I, copy the, I copied and pasted the link in, and now I'm copying and pasting the question in. And I put, I'll show you, I put just this part in the subject line. This whole thing goes in the body of the email, but um, the subject line is Yahoo answer colon this. Um, oh, when I looked, I found a lot of, is Jason a good baby name? Yes, yeah. Especially in the um, pregnancy and parenting section. Pregnancy and parenting is like 75% baby names. I'm going to prop my phone up over here so I can see chat better. Um, I guess it doesn't really make a difference if I tell you how I'm composing the emails. Um, but I mean, should... should they start taking questions from Quora or Reddit or what have you. I imagine that you could format the emails similarly. Um, and I usually don't go back that far. Right now we're in one day ago. I tend to stop. I tend to go through one day ago, two days ago, and then stop when it gets to three days ago. Um, just cause there, you got, you gotta set hard limits of, cause you could just scroll forever. Um. Okay, now we're in two days ago. I mean, you can, I, I said Hitler questions. You're sure getting those fucking Hitler questions. And also a lot of uh, 
<laughs> boring history questions. There's a lot of people who ask for helps on help on their homework on Yahoo Answers, and sometimes you can tell. Uh, and now we've gotten to three days ago, so I'm going to stop. But this question is okay, so I will send it in. I would feel better about it if I knew for sure that the brothers had, like, played Resident Evil 8. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know if they have. Um... So, I'm going to close the tab. Arts and Humanities next is Beauty and Style. Beauty and Style usually not that bad. It's mostly just a lot of like, do I look okay? Questions. Oh shit, thank you Chronoboss for the follow. Um, that was three minutes ago. Uh, sorry that I didn't see it right then. Um, I haven't explored Yahoo Answers for at least a decade, and after seeing what it looks like now, I very much appreciate the important work you've done. Yeah, I'm sure, I mean, a decade ago it was still ridiculous. I mean, we've all seen that, um, uh, pre the, the Pregnant <laughs> video, um, but it's gotten very, um, like, kind of a hotbed of like conspiracy theories and conservatism and like alt rightness um which is very unpleasant um I mean, I don't know, dude, you could, if, if you really wanted to. But, I mean, I'm not going to tell you not to. This section is ultimately pretty benign. <laughs> um, okay, so we've gotten to the three days ago. Now, normally I skip um, these four just because they're so fucking boring. But I will at least, like, go in and look a little bit just to show you. Seems like a weird number of tattoo questions. Yeah. Yeah, beauty and style. I mean, beauty and style is where the tattoo questions go, I guess. Um... I mean, yeah, this is, so this is business questions. It's fucking boring. Um, cars and transportation. Oh, I do, I do always check boats and boating because I think boats are a funny kind of transportation. Um, and I have found some good questions in boats and boating, but, um, it's still pretty boring. Oh, yeah, that's the section where this question was from, which got used. I did send it in, but somebody else got 
credit for it because they sent it in before me. Uh, but why is the company called Johnson & Johnson and not the two Johnsons? I don't know why that's in Boats and Boating, but it is. Um, but the rest of Cars and Transportation is four questions about the Peking Boulevard airplane. Se uh, I'm sorry, uh, seven questions about eight, que nine, <laughs> a lot of questions about the Peking Boulevard airplane. If that even is a real airplane, there are. Of course, trolls. Um, and then people asking car questions that they can't ask because they don't make new episodes of Car Talk anymore, so they gotta go to Yahoo Answers instead. Um, that one's not bad. There are a lot of questions that I send in where I'm like, ah, it's not bad, but they're probably not going to use it, but I'll send it in just in case. And this one, I'm probably not going to use it. That car talk void. Yeah. I mean, when one of your hosts dies, I mean, there's not really much you can do. <laughs> Although I think they stopped making new episodes before he died. Um, but, um, yeah, the reason, so, this might make a good final Yahoo, but I don't really think that if they use this as a regular, I don't think they could use this as a non-final Yahoo, because I don't think you could really, like, build a bit off of this, you know what I mean? Um, um, anyway, so that's cars and transportation. Not much discussion comes from it. Yeah, but a funny question. Yeah, exactly. Um, questions that are just funny are good for final yahoos, but of course there's only one final yahoo Per episode as opposed to two or three regular yahoos per episode um so the odds of it being used are much lower so this is computers and internet um and it's a lot of people asking how to get their technology to work Um. Yeah, I'm not going to bother going <laughs> that deep into this, but um consumer electronics pretty similar people asking them why their phones aren't working. Um Why their Roku's aren't working. Yeah, every once in a while I will see answers that are about the Bim Bam or about the McElroys. And it's pretty clear that people post them uh, because they want one of us to send it in. Uh, but I, I don't do that. <laughs> Um, it's just, it's just sucking up. Um, yeah. Dining out, not usually very interesting, but the turn, the, there aren't that many questions, so it doesn't take too long to see what's been recently posted, and sometimes it's, Sometimes I'll get something good. Um. Well, that's that's not bad. 
that's not bad. Get lost in the sauce. Um, like to the point that even though these are from a week ago, I'm still scrolling through just because like there's so few new questions. Um, Education and reference. This one is like 99% people asking for help with their homework. Oh my gosh, my, sorry, my partner just texted me pictures of her holding a hedgehog and it's super cute. So I am text, I am texting her back who's just gushing about how beautiful that hedgehog is. It's in a little ball in her hands. Um. Yeah. Yeah, boring shit. Now, en entertainment and music is one of the first categories where I get into subcategories. And this is because so much of entertainment and music, if I were just to scroll through it, hedgehog eye bleach to cleanse your Yahoo trolling. Yes, exactly. Um, oh, according to Drew, um... This was the last Yahoo posted on Yahoo Answers. Um, it's it's too it's ridiculously poignant to be the final words of such a awful awful website. <laughs> but um, but anyway, um, entertainment and music. If you scroll through this here, you get so 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 many questions um that are in the polls and surveys subcategory and polls and surveys is just full of like random crap so i there are good subcategories in here though that i will open up and go through um individually and this one i'll send in because they do talk about Tim Curry a lot. How come Tim Curry sounds like that? I'm gonna get a sip of water real quick. This is an incredible peek behind the curtain for your process. Yeah, that that's kind of my idea here. Um, I mean, I, I'm not going to be able to do this anymore, at least on this site. So I might as well reveal all my secrets. Um, because no new questions are gonna be posted. So unless I come back and like scroll really deep in the feed, um, like this is it. Um, so, oh, um, 
jokes and riddles I also skip. Uh, we already have riddle me piss for that. <laughs> and I am not a riddle, pe riddle me piss person. Uh, no, they haven't talked about a replacement yet, to my knowledge. Um, I haven't listened to the most recent episode, but considering that um, Griffin wasn't on it, and Ron and Griffin's like the the Yahoo the ya main Yahoo guy. Um, I am guessing that they don't talk about it, but I expect that they will say something. Um, oh, it's Tuesday already, so next week. I. I would like to hear their suggestions for this. There's a few people asking that question. <laughs> this is also a relatively benign section. I've gotten to uh, the three days ago, so I'm gonna open the new tab for comics and animation, and I am going to be right back. I want to know what the Green Day versus Justin Bieber thread is discussing. Okay, I will check that out just for you uh, when I get back, but I will be right back. I back. All right. So let's see. Green Day versus Justin Bieber. Yeah. Let's see what the people have to say on that. Green Day. Green Day. I beg to differ that uh, Bieber would win a boxing match <laughs> against Green Day, but yeah. Comics and animation. And then there's just really, sometimes you just get really weird, like, out of category questions like this. I don't know why this is in comics and animation, unless it's secretly a reference to some cartoon, but... Isekai. Uh, the world has progressed past the need for Isekai. Oh, I will get rid of this BRB because I'm back. 
Um, oh yeah, radio and magazines I don't look at because like nobody posts in them. Because, I mean, I don't want to say they're obsolete mediums, but they're getting there. <laughs> so, um, And then movies, which is always busier than television. I don't, I always found that interesting. kind of interesting. Deja vu. Ah, oh, man, you haven't seen... Somebody show this person, um, Eddie Izzard's Jeff Vader sketch. Because that, that's exactly what they're looking for. I wish I could remember like literally any of the lines from that sketch that I could quote for you, but all that's coming to me is cake or death, which is an entirely different bit. <laughs> um. Okay, so entertainment music, environment, also pretty boring. It's just people talking about... Environment is a weirdly specific, like, category to have, in my opinion. You'd think you could put it in, like, science and mathematics. But maybe... Maybe... Like, global warming became such a hot-button issue that they made it its own section. Um, anyway, boring. Family room relationships. There's just some really wild shit in here. I usually don't go through it. Um, just cause it's so, it's people just really airing their dirty laundry and I feel uncomfortable, um, doing that. Oh, 
Well, guess what, dude? You were right. Thank goodness. Now, food, food and drink's a good one. I don't always get something good out of food and drink, but... Scott. Scott is decent. A lot of people asking for, like, cooking advice, as you would expect. I'm pretty sure my hot grapes question, which was the first question that I got on the show, uh, was from Food and Drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing, nothing today. Games and recreation. Uh, when Club Penguin shut down, yeah, it does feel like that. Yeah? Yeah, they're definitely interesting. Um, I just don't know if they're, like, good Yahoo material. But they're definitely, like, huh, okay. Um... Oh man, is the Diamond and Pearl, the new Diamond and Pearl acronym really BDSP? I'm surprised I haven't seen any, like, jokes about that yet. <laughs> Cause, you know, it's one that are off from BDSM. I am clearly a connoisseur. I mean, I'd like to think so, but I mean, who knows? P some Maybe somebody submitted one of those questions and, uh, you know, it'll be egg on my face. But that's, that's just how it be sometimes. Who, what, is your video game crush? Don't think it's that interesting of a question, but I do appreciate the line here. We don't kink shame. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't, I don't know how much they look at... I don't know how much they look past the um, subject line at the actual body of the question. I don't know if they screen questions just by what I put in the subject line, but I mean the wor the actual wording of this I I do like so. Oh, 
I mean, look, buddy, it was revolutionary at the time. The choice of video game crush is unexpected. I don't know if you mean the choice of me sending in that question or the question asker's choice of their video game crush. <laughs> um, because I haven't played Hollow Knight, so I can't comment on that. You know what? You are making me second guess myself, so I am gonna go back to food and drink and have another. Okay, you know what? Yeah, this one. I, I should have. I will do it. The question asker's choice for their video, video game crush being a 2D bug in a mask was unexpected for me. <laughs> ah, no worries. Yeah. Well, I sent in that one, so I'm gonna go back. Yeah, like I said, I haven't played Hollow Knight, so I have no idea, but honestly, I can believe that they have a crush on a 2D bug in a mask, because... Uh, people on the internet, there, there's somebody on the internet for, for every fictional character, really, for better or for worse. Um, health, I also don't particularly like, um, is it possible for hypersexual people to be asexual? If it wasn't read-only, I would actually go in here and say yes. Yes, they can be. Um, I, have, I have answered a few questions on Yahoo Answers. Um, but they were all, like, people who were, like, genuine... They were genuine, like, heartfelt questions... That I'm like, this person, I can help them, so I will help them. Um, anyway. Home and garden, very similar to food and drink. Um, in that it's like, kind of one of the more benign, but like pretty decent sections. Um... A lot of people asking about plants. A lot of people asking about doing like renovation stuff on their house. Wow, very specific call out here. <laughs> Jesus. And that, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? But I, I highly doubt that that is both legal or practical. <laughs> Local businesses is very similar to dining out in that, like, it's not that good, but there's so few questions that it takes so little time to scroll through, so I always figure I can, I can check. Yeah. So, normally I skip news and events entirely. Um... I will, sh I guess, you know, it's the last time I might as well show you why news and events and politics and government are the worst sections. Um, 
it's just so bad. Um, so let's move on to pets. I always individually check horses because I don't want to miss any horse questions. Because we all know that horses are one of the foundations of Mabim Bam. But, um, yeah, nothing new since the last time I looked. Yes, horse questions are extremely important. Oh yeah, there's some dude who's been posting in here for years with weird fucking questions about basset hound puppies. Just, just a little fun fact, I guess. I don't really know what their deal is. Um, I don't think that's really true about dogs, but okay. Do you ever actually laugh out loud at a Yahoo question? I have. I have. I can't remember any specific examples off the top of my head. Um, but I know, I know that I have and I know that sometimes my partner will be sitting next to me while I do this and I'll be like, hey, look at this one. This one's fucking hysterical. Yeah, I, that's probably, I'm probably very desensitized. Um, nevertheless, I do occasionally see one that legitimately cracks me up. Maybe I'll find one here. That would be nice. Um, otherwise, I might go through my sent folder on my email and see if I can find an example. Could you live in a world without baby chickens? I kind of like that. It might... It's an okay question. Another one that like I'm not sure that they'll use, but I'll send it anyway. I mean, I'm never really sure if they're going to use it, but there's some that I'm like, eh, probably not. But it's still, it's kind of a sweet, good question. And then it's a sequel. How many baby chickens would it take to kill a man? Uh, depends on how angry they are. <laughs> okay, yeah, this one. <laughs> Just <laughs> the word, the wording makes it so. Oh God, I'm not gonna send that one in. I don't think that's really a good one to send in. But it did make me laugh out loud. So there you go. <laughs> Cats, 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 cats. Dogs, 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 dogs. Mm, okay. Yeah, politics and government. I mean, this this kind of sums up the user base of yeah the gen the 
majority user base of Yahoo Answers a little bit. Or at least it feels like the majority user base. Um, yeah. I, nev I never check this section for questions. I just figured I'd show you. Yeah, pregnancy and parenting. This is going to be so many baby names. Yeah, I desensitized is really the key word here. Like like I already went into this I would say having thick skin. Um but you really just kind of you get to a point where you don't even it doesn't even really register anymore oh what does spanking not in a fun way mean hmm hmm okay 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 is that <laughs> they read me for fucking Phil. Well, now I'm not sure if I want to send this in. Because they're clearly just... They clearly decided to do this on Yahoo Answers instead of just sending the email to the brothers themselves. Um. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll do it, but I really don't like sending in questions where it's like really obvious that they're just trying. They're just trying to get on the bim bam cuz that's not really, you know, why why they take submissions from Yahoo answers. You know, it's not really in in the spirit of it all. But it is a good question. <laughs> um, but I actually, I had a similar, let me see if I can find it in my email. Oh, it must be in my other inbox. Never mind. I'll find it later. But um, there was a question that I found once a while ago that was like, um, could I name my kid Ronald McDonald and my other kid Ham Burglar or something like that? <laughs> it works, but is it wrong? <laughs> Okay, yeah, the, the wording of that, I will. Well, I'm glad I actually bothered to check pregnancy and parenting today. Now, that's another interesting quirk of Yahoo Answers, is every mention of Santa and Christmas uh, turns into this half red, half green word that doesn't show up when you highlight it. Um, what's really funny is sometimes Santa will be, like, uh, in a... Yeah, that's automatic. That's not, like, a browser extension or anything. It just does that. Um, but what's funny is even... Because there are towns that have the word Santa in it like Santa Monica and it will still turn Santa red and green even though it doesn't have to do with Christmas so were you the one who sent in that incredible Mrs. Claus Yahoo I sent in that Yahoo but I don't remember if I was the one that was credited for it or if somebody else also sent it in and got the credit for it. 
but I know which question you're talking about, and I did... I, I went through my sent box recently looking at all my yahoos and i did send that one in but i don't remember if if that was attributed to me um so so, so these next three are all ones that i go into subcategories for because this is a lot of like math questions uh which you know, I they the McElroys I can't really answer those. <laughs> no offense. A lot of these are usually kind of boring, though. Um, oh yeah, biology is not actually a good one. Now, alternative is a fun one, because you got all the aliens and ghosts in this one. Oh, look at that. That one's great. That's a solid question. Wow, that's um that's rather telling. <laughs> Sent in by a couple people. Okay. Yeah, so I would have been one of those people. That's happened a few times. There there have been a few questions that I sent in that either got credited to somebody else or were credited to multiple people which is fine you know like if I'm not the only one or I'm not the first one that's not that's not a big deal I I just want to make it clear that I'm like not complaining or like um uh, uh words are escaping me I'm not upset I'm not mad about it Resentful. I'm not resentful when um, I send in something and it gets used um, with somebody else's name. I've seen a lot of questions like this. It's probably all the same person, but I don't... Like... Is that a thing that people think happens? Yeah, see, there, there's another one. I don't, I don't know. Some people just, their life mission is they, to go on Yahoo Answers and ask multiple of the same question over the course of like months. Or years. I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, astronomy in space also has lots of aliens in it. Also lots of Uranus jokes. <laughs> uh, you know what? You... They probably are, my dude. They probably are. 
I mean, especially considering that they also probably don't have the same concept of gender as we do. So... Now, I get the feeling that they won't use that just because none of them are gay and this mentions being gay even though it's, you know, a benign, not really homophobic question. Um, but I'll send it in anyway. Um. Can we send astronauts to the sun if we go at night? Yep, here we go. Uranus joke. Are there helicopters on Mars? There are now, apparently. I didn't really pay attention to that. Uh, but I heard that we flew a helicopter on Mars. So, that's cool. That's not really, that's not the follow-up that you expect to the question, what's the moon landing? Um, that's really good. That's really good. But like I said, I don't know how often that they look beyond the subject line when choosing questions. So hopefully they actually look at the body of the question too and see this cuz this is the good this is the good stuff. I don't know what this is doing in astronomy and space, but I can assure you that the answer is no. Geography. Uh oh. Ah, there we go. Oh shit. Um. Hold on, I have to text. I'm starting a new job tomorrow and um, the manager, the owner manager just texted me or messaged me and said to text him if I'm still good to start tomorrow. So I'm going to do that uh, like now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Come on. number there we go TCOB. Ah, uh, what what does that stand for? <laughs> Taking care of business. Yes. Yes. Hi. Oh, hey. Um That's Arkness, right? Sup? Yeah. Why do, why do European people love Dubai? I mean like it's a good question generally speaking, but I don't think they know enough about European people or Dubai to 
uh, to, to really want to answer that. Although this does raise some interesting follow-up questions about what this person believes about astronomy. Um, and then zoology. Zoology is like pets, except for non-domesticated animals. Uh, classic, does spider have both <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no. Um No, I totally get it. Um but I think I get the feeling that they generally don't touch questions that they really that like their life experiences don't <laughs> um allow them to really answer well. That's why I was kind of uncertain about sending in the question that asked about aliens being gay. Because none of them are gay, so I don't know if they're going to want to touch that. Even though, yeah, they don't feel qualified to answer. Um, you'd think that it wouldn't matter. Because there's all sorts of wild bullshit questions <laughs> that they've already answered, but... I get the feeling that they won't, that they wouldn't touch that one. Does Spider have puss puss? I mean, that's the, that's the big question, isn't it? Um, in, in all seriousness, I don't think that they do. Um, but maybe some species of spiders do. This is another classic one that, yeah, people are just reposting, like, the greatest hits. Okay, I do want to know <laughs> what this is referring to. What... Oh, uh, yeah, I guess they could be asking about Ganesh. But it's so nonspecific. Um, and social science. Um, so the gender studies sub question or subsection is really gross um, and also very prevalent, so I go into the subcategories for this one. Um, no, you fucking eco-fascist. Although, yeah, anthropology's not so hot either. <laughs> Yikes. We live in a society. Is that the full quote for we live in a society? I didn't know that. Wow, Yahoo Answers actually taught me something. I mean, from what I can remember, <laughs> that sounds pretty accurate. Only in the new movie before it was just We Live in a Society. Okay. Okay. Huh. Um. You'd... Now, I, I do want to clear something up because I'm sure people 
Uh, we'll have questions about this. Dream interpretation is fun, but there's just, it's just, it's just people talking about their weird dreams, and you can only really do that so many times before it's, like, not worth it. <laughs> um... Man, I can't explain anything in economics, so have a good, good luck, dude. Why are monopolies bad? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Psychology can get kind of depressing, but I'm still going to look up and just be advised. Yes, bees do sting each other in some cases. I mean, that makes sense. Society and culture. Um, okay. So this one is full of Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. And this one is full of homophobia and transphobia. So I go by subcategories so that I don't have to deal with those. Because they're also very, very prevalent in that section as a whole. Couple months late there, my bud. Yeah, and this one also has some Islamophobia. I'm sorry. Oh, yikes, more Hitler shit. <laughs> wow, I love this very pointed call out. <laughs> Oh, man. Thanks for tuning in, uh, Chrono Boss. I'm I'm glad that I could enlighten you onto the the la la labor of 
love that is Yahoo <laughs> Yahoo finding. Yep. Yep. Love in quotation marks. For sure. <laughs> how, do, how do mermaids take a shit? I mean, the same way that fish do. We just don't really notice. Because shrimp, uh, fish, fish, but... Holes are not really prominent. <laughs> uh, donkey bites would hurt. Yeah, they probably would. Oh, thank you for following, Mark Peterson. Did Prince... gonna use this but <laughs> okay <laughs> he had I mean he had four kids so that, that's my thought exactly that is my thought exactly You know, I have to imagine the Queen of England doesn't actually... Hi, big fan of your work. Thank you. I can't imagine... Does the Queen of England even know that Yahoo Answers exists? I mean, she's 90-something years old. That That seems like a reasonable preliminary question to ask before we ask that is she sat mad that it's getting shut down does she know what it is? <laughs> 95 okay so she's gonna be 95 she's as old as my grandfather it's kind of wild to think about. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sports. I don't I don't check all the subcategories for sports, but I do I do check golf and horse racing cuz they're the funniest or at least most mabim bam relevant. How many boys on golf team? You know what? That's actually a good question. I thought about I thought about at one point starting a podcast called That's Actually a Good Question, where I try and find answers to Yahoo's that I find that are actually good questions. But 
not going to be able to do that anymore because the site's going offline in, what, two weeks? Week and a half? Golf. Horse racing. And then I'll look at That is actually kind of a good joke, not gonna lie. I mean it's not a great joke, but it's like for Yahoo answers, that's a pretty good joke. I S pressing F to pay respects. Actually, I do want to see if they have an answer. I'm intrigued. Call them an ad. You know, it's a reasonable answer. Travel, I don't usually look at, but this is a special occasion. So we will look at travel. It's not bad, it's just kind of boring, usually. I have a feeling this is going to be all, yeah, yeah, I don't know, some, some of these are weird, but a lot of these are just being like, bye Yahoo. Bye bye. Um, so, yeah, thank you for joining me on this last, my last Yahoo trip. I mean, I probably could go back in and scroll further than I did and find other questions, but um, no new questions are being posted after earlier today, so... Yeah. It's it's very sad. Um to wrap up I I will I will give perhaps a little eulogy. Um Yahoo Answers was a cesspit. Um it was chock full of racism and sexism and all other kinds of isms. Um, but nevertheless, it was the place for people to go when they had nowhere else to go, or for people to go when they didn't know where else to go. And I did encounter many you know, genuine, heartfelt, serious questions from, from kids and teenagers and, and old people. And, um, it's also pretty clear to me that for better or for worse, there were, there were communities on there. There were some pretty good friendships formed on Yahoo Answers. And, um, 
I mean, you know, people talk about replacing it with Reddit, replacing it with Quora, but ultimately there will never be a place on the internet like Yahoo Answers again, for better or for worse. And so, good night, sweet prince. Thanks for all the laughs and other emotional reactions. Um, it's been real. I don't know how to, how to end this speech. But, um, yeah, those are, that's what I have to say about Yahoo Answers. Um, yeah, F, F, we got some Fs in the chat. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a night. You have done God's work all this time, Ben. Thank you. It really doesn't feel like it. But I'm glad somebody thinks so. <laughs> um, F's in the chat. Um, you know what? Let's, uh... Let me turn desktop audio on. Yeah, okay. Come on. Oh my god! I just want to play taps. I don't know if you can actually hear this, actually, but I can hear it, so it helps. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. <laughs>